from a recent review on diet and inflammation by Dr. Leo Galland, who, when I was a kid, actually used to be my doctor. Inflammation has recently emerged as an important aspect of the development of age-related infirmity and the major chronic diseases of industrialized societies— heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, cancer. And we have markers of inflammation now, like C-reactive protein, which are easy to measure and give a sense of how much inflammation there is in our bodies, which is predictive for the development of some of these diseases. We know plant-based food in general have anti-inflammatory effects, uh, particularly fruits and vegetables, but not all plant foods. Uh, from a 2010 review, extra virgin olive oil decreases inflammatory markers compared to corn oil or non-virgin oil. Tomato juice helps, but raw tomatoes don't appear to. Walnuts, red wine, and flax meal work. Garlic powder doesn't. Mixed data on tea, but sweet cherries do seem to decrease inflammation. There have since been a few new studies to add to this list, one showing that those eating just four servings of legumes a week— lentils, chickpeas, peas, beans— dropped C-reactive protein levels a whopping 40% in two months. And then, apparently the first study ever to address the effects of potato consumption on oxidation and inflammation in humans was published. And not just any potatoes, there's all sorts of new varieties out there. First, though, they looked at regular potatoes, white russet potatoes. One steamed potato a day for six weeks. Inflammation, as measured by C-reactive protein levels in the blood, tended to go up. Next, potatoes with yellow flesh did a bit better, but neither were significantly different than baseline. Only purple potatoes, potatoes with purple flesh, significantly decreased inflammation. And same thing was found for oxidation. In this 2012 study, within hours of consumption, purple potatoes increased the antioxidant capacity of one's bloodstream, whereas white potato starch appeared to have a pro-oxidant effect. And purple potatoes also appeared to help lower blood pressure in folks with hypertension. They put uh, people on six to eight small microwave purple potatoes a day, and concluded purple potatoes are an effective hypotensive agent and lower the risk of heart disease and stroke in hypertensive subjects without weight gain combined with a reduction in inflammation and DNA damage, purple potatoes offer consumers an improved nutritional choice in potato consumption.